Okay, here's the trailer breakdown. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Oh my god, it's G-Man. Okay, straight away, we have a reference to Half-Life 2. Uh, this is scarily based, and I have to give props to Bethesda for this. So it looks like we are going to see Vault 4. Perhaps the main protagonist will come across this vault on her quest to find a vault Tech water chip. Who knows? Not much is known about Vault 4, but we do know it may be close to Vault 3. We do know that New Vegas will be in the show because there is an actor that has been hired to play Mr. House. It looks like the vault dwellers here will have the most powerful projector system in the world. It will simulate West Virginia on the wall for the vault dwellers to feel like they are outside as a way to trick the brain into not feeling so claustrophobic in the vault. A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Camelot Noun, the legendary site of King Arthur's palace and court, possibly near Exeter, England. Any idyllic place or period, especially one of great happiness. The latter definition here fits vault advertising quite well. H. These little guys will be familiar to anyone who played the Fallout games. I wonder if it will give the main character a stat boost. Not made by God Almighty. Okay, a few things here. You can see that there is plenty of vegetation. Who is to say if it's fake or if it's real? What I did spot is the fact that this guy here in the back looks like a postal worker. Is the vault that big that it needs a postal service? Well, the number on the apartment here is pretty high, and this would suggest that the vault could be big enough. This will be the biggest vault we have ever seen in Fallout so far. Well, in the modern Fallout games, anyway. Hey, but... I'm not sure if this guy is the overseer Cyclops guy, but if it is, we may see him lose an eye in the show. But honestly, I think it may be the main protagonist's father or someone closer to her. We can also see that they are growing food in the vault. So they may actually have real plants to set around as ornaments. The wooden chairs look very clean and new. I wonder where they got the wood to have all these chairs. It seems they are growing sunflower. The reason being may be to help pollinators, beneficial insects, songbirds, and other wildlife, and improve soil with a deep taproot. Who knows? The working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. Yes, this is clearly Los Angeles. We have seen this in the Fallout universe before. In Fallout 2, it's called the L.A. Boneyard. Gunrunners and the followers of the apocalypse come from here. It's interesting to see the beach here. I'm sure you remember it from GTA 5. Now it's officially part of the Fallout lore, and I like that. I would love to see this aesthetic in a Fallout game, TBH. I just hope they don't completely butcher the amazing lore we already have. Now, this is interesting. You can see that this is clearly supposed to be Shady Sands. But Shady Sands was founded by an ancestor of Aradesh after they left Vault 15. So, I wonder how this will play out. Please tell me below what you think. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. Come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Now here we can see a beached ship that has seen better days. Looks like these people are being hammered with vault propaganda and have no idea what dark experiments lay within the vault's walls. It will be interesting to see how they write this in. It will be interesting to see how they write this in. Or maybe it is a question to whether or not this is a control vault. Oh, look, she found a stim pack and a bobblehead. I think this could be No Bark's mother. Because we know No Bark Noonan is a time traveler, so the timeline does not need to make sense. These here cars look like classic Rolls Royce Wraiths. I could be wrong. But I don't know how they're going to play into the whole nuclear car thing. 
Next up, we have a nice little shot of a wasteland city. Maybe it's the boneyard again, somewhere else. Well, this explained why we had a bunch of high-class cars in a sad little chassis graveyard. Because as she walks away from them, it becomes evident that she is in Upper L.A., which has a hugely different tone from the sandy coast. Now I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that the L.A. reservoir had completely busted open and caused Los Angeles to be flooded, which would be a really cool plot point, and it would make sense. It would also explain why there is so much vegetation and life in this place. Now, as she goes to get some water to test its rads, she gets rudely interrupted by someone holding what looks like a sequoia gun. Surprise, surprise. It's the ghoul. I've heard people say that he is in the NCR. But who knows? Vault Tech what? Anyone know what this is? My guess is Rad X. She's clearly looking for medicine on her quest. Perhaps here she found a vault. Within the vault was the result of evil human experimentation. And the vault's robots are organ harvesters. Or maybe it's been reprogrammed by wasters. The scene is very dark and very fitting for the Fallout world. Here you can see some shots of the Brotherhood. It appears that they are even training the young to fight and that they are a full military in this show. In the foreground is another main character in the show. I'm unsure if the baldy guy is the elder or not, but I'm sure he is a high-ranking member. Here you can see the ghoul fighting the Brotherhood character in power armor. Despite how powerful the ghoul's weapon clearly is, it is nothing compared to power armor in this show. Here I assume is the war drum of the Brotherhood. When the Pridwin-style ship shows up to the west coast, then the boss is ballin'. This power armor shot shows the Brotherhood as heroes coming to save everyone. In this shot, he is appearing in front of a Wastelander child. This character mentions that he joined the Brotherhood to hurt the people who hurt him. So perhaps it's a flash back to his childhood. Or it's a moment for his character building to see a child in his exact position years before. This power armor has a visor that can open and close. I don't remember this being in any of the games. Now this is my favorite shot, the little doggy running with his master. Not only because these dogs are badass, but because this image honestly looks like how a Fallout game should look in 2024. I'm not saying the CGI is bad or anything, but it literally looks like one of those fake Unreal 5 tech demos for a Fallout game. We get another angle of LA. I love the look of it, to be honest. Or I mean, it could be something else. Everything is obscured by nuclear destruction. Uh, I would like to mention that the ghoul is holding some kind of vial with a little liquid. Through the trailer, it becomes obvious that this is a drug that he needs or is addicted to. I have been able to discern that the ghoul will probably come across the female protagonist in a quest for medicine, similar to her journey. Perhaps he decides it's easier to track her than to actually look for medical supplies in the wasteland since she could have the information on a Pip-Boy about where to look, etc. Yeah, perhaps with the common quest to find medicine and chems, he realizes that she can lead him to vaults. And eventually they become friends, find a way to work out a deal with each other. Uh, you can see here that she is very afraid of him because he tends to blow holes in people and is an ultimate cowboy, badass wannabe from watching TV shows about cowboys. Oh yeah, by the way, television works in the Fallout world now. I wonder who is broadcasting it? The Enclave? Also, the guy from the first trailer has lost his foot, I think. Next, you can see that there is some kind of disaster in Vault 33. The protagonist's home Perhaps her mission failed, or the vault had uncovered dark secrets and the testing phase has begun. Uh oh, oh, never mind. Uh, I think the power armor guy has came to save the day. Amazing. Again, we see him fighting the Yao Guai. Bear and man have finally came to the cutting edge of combat. He's even facing up against a Mirelurk. 
Or maybe it's a gulper. I'm not sure it looks like a mix of both. What could be dragging this man away to his death? A bear, a death claw. Even. Now here's where I put my tinfoil hat on and start guessing. These two are love interests, because they keep flashing these types of images together to foreshadow that these guys are going to become a couple. It's so blatantly obvious that if I'm wrong, I will eat a book. After being in the wasteland for so long, our main character will eventually level up to leather armor, just like in the games. The wasteland will provide quite the contrast to the previously experienced luxurious comfort of the vault walls. Oh, and by the way, we have rad roaches confirmed for the show. And here is the super-duper mart from the first leak that we ever had about the show. This crazy scientist is drilling his own head. Maybe he is injecting himself with something or adjusting some technology? Or maybe he is a synth? This guy is in another show called Person of Interest. He is called Michael Emerson. Now, I could be wrong, but this super-duper scary-looking military could actually be the NCR? That looks like a TV show rendition of a service rifle right there. Am I wrong? I think perhaps this woman could actually be Tandy, which would be mind-blowing that they even managed to remember her to This is the age Tandy would have been when the NCR was fighting the Brotherhood. Now I know the timeline between the show and games might not add up, but they could be rewriting the entire story. You never know. It's also important to note that she is holding a laser rifle, or Fallout 4 laser pistol. Here you can see a battle taking place at the Griffith Observatory in L.A. You can see a vertibird going down, a Brotherhood soldier tanking the puny damage of a ballistic rifle. And more importantly, you can see that there is indeed an NCR flag being carried by the soldiers. This confirms my suspicion that the NCR will be in the game. Of course, here is more proof that the battle is in the Griffith Observatory in this epic shot right here. Later on, you can see this grim image of nuclear bombs being dropped on North L.A. Could this be the ghoul in the pre-war? It seems so. We also get this Badass shot of a vertibird driving head first into a goddamn nuke. <laughs> that is crazy. Now I want to say thank you for watching. And if I got anything wrong or missed anything, please be sure to comment below and let me know. If you would also consider liking and subscribing, then that would be great. Careful, they got spies all over.